ok, the windows down then I need to remove this thing and I need to remove this screw bolt locking down the door I need to remove this plastic cover when I slide the door, closing it down and disconnect it there is fill back clips there you go close the door to have an access to full panel clips here this has been left in the chases I'm going to unclip them from chases and put back in here there you go so after removing this clip I believe I'm gonna remove the whole thing like that remove the plastic cover to get the access to the bolts which hold the window to prevent accidental fall, I put the blue tape on the window. This is what holds the window. 10 mm bolts on one end of window regulator and at another end of window regulator. I don't have to be afraid this can fall down because I have a blue tape. But as I said earlier, this is two hands job. It turns out that I have to remove not only this rubber frame, which is called run channel. I had to remove this along this metal bracket well metal track actually which is uh, one end of this connected uh, to the door on the bottom and uh, another end connected on the top and the only way to get an access to the second bolt on the top you have to remove this plastic cover get ready to have a spare clips to clip this plastic cover back because i can assure you that the old one they stuck so far in in the holes of these chases that it's just impossible to remove them the only way you can remove the stuck clips you just need to break them and by the way i don't know what about your experience but in my case there is a, a adhesive hidden behind this plastic cover and uh, i need the new one like adhesive tape to put this cover back so it stay put and wouldn't stick out this is the key moment of this video when you can see where the hidden bolts are located which holds the metal trucks and when you remove these bolts and remove the trucks after that you just can easily pull out the window glass unfortunately you cannot avoid some damages when you pull out this plastic cover this is why you need something like 3M double sided tape to put this plastic cover back and maybe some clips which with some luck can be still inserted in the bearing if it has left after pulling this cover out so as you can see right now, there is a gap here. This what allows you to insert the new window in or pull the old one out. I have pulled the old window already and all I need to do right now is just to put new one. Just in case if I drop it, it wouldn't be a deadly drop. The window was caught up with door handle cable. So, there is the cable. This is cable was on my window way down. Now I need to line up window with window regulator rail. Line up this hole. So window goes behind the window regulator rail. And the same goes for the second one. Now, you better have either patience or spare bolt because when I replaced the second window I just dropped this bolt accidentally it went down somewhere in the door and I never could find it but I had a spare bolt so I had a heavy patience or spare bolt and since I've broken these two brackets which were holding the cable I'm going to put the just tire up here because I don't have these brackets and so this pass would be secured in this way 
I put all this plastic back. And also I put on some scotch on the cuts which were created during the process. Since I didn't have neither previous experience of replacing these windows nor I could find any video instructions on YouTube, I did a mistake and uh, I removed this run channel, this rubber frame uh, away from the tracks and um, from the window. So inserting this run channel rubber thing back in the position was not just a waste of time but wrong thing to do. Instead previously separating this run channel rubber from the truck I should leave this run channel rubber on this truck just pull them away from the window path and this is how it was done for the second window I figure out why do I need to pull the hole with a strip I just need to release this brackets and pull the truck out of the position along this this strip Yeah, and have released already this bolt down there, so I pull this whole thing like this, and I don't need to pull out this whole thing because I have this gap now. We just slide this window toward the gap and pull it up. After replacing the sliding door window, do not forget after inserting this truck to secure this one with the bolt on the bottom and uh, on the top. Then this bracket goes back as a part of the track. Before attaching the plastic cover, here will test. Oh! My best guess that this scary snap sound happened because I have removed the run channel, the rubber frame, and when I inserted it, I probably didn't insert it completely. And sliding window just pushed this run channel back in a position. I never heard this sound again. And people recommend when you pull it up, hold for 10 seconds, bottom up. But it works without this reset. I'm gonna hold it anyway. It's like 1, 2, 3, 9, 10. Let's hope it's resetted. Release the bottom. It goes down. It goes up. Everything's fine. As I mentioned before, when you pull out this plastic cover, some brackets and clips are going to be broken. I can just use whatever I have in my stash, the clips. And uh, this is the original clip I pull out from this car. I cannot reuse it anymore and I don't have it in my stash rolls. So whatever I have, I'm going to use it to clip this plastic cover back. This kind of clip is going to fit here. So I'm going to use whatever I have to clip it back. Do not forget to tuck in this plastic triangle into the run channel. There is insertion hooks on this panel. So I guess they go first. Once I put this insertion hook on the top here, I didn't find any other hooks. So it's just the clips. I just need to clip the door back. Just like that. And we got. I forget to, to shower the cable. Now that's it. Connect the cable back. Last but not least, I forgot this screw bolt almost which holds this whole panel that's it and this is it, everything is done